Hi, this is Dave Wolver. I'm going to show you how to build Android apps with Eclipse, uh, the Android development tools, and then a uh, high-level library, the App Inventor Java Bridge, okay? Which is, is a, it's a Java library where the classes are the same as the components in the visual tool App Inventor. So if you've learned App Inventor, it's an easy way to get used to Java, okay? Um, so first thing we need to do is, you know, so I've already built a Hello World app in the, in the first video of this series. And this is just the skeleton app that comes when you create a new project in Eclipse uh, for Android. Okay, so what I first want to do is I want to stick a the uh, Java Bridge library. I need to add it into my project. Okay, and I've got um, the uh, some notes uh, here, a tutorial here, and you can you can grab this link uh, or or go to this link if you want to grab these files. Okay, but the files are right on this page if I go down here and it says okay import the Java bridge library and you can do this get to this jar file so I'm going to click this to download that jar file okay um, and let's see why is that not oh there it goes okay there it's downloading okay so that's the jar file I'm going to need I'm also going to need a, a file to um, which is my sample code for this simple click of button and turn it red okay like the simplest app you could build with the Java bridge okay so I need to download this guy um, and with this page you actually have to grab the text and and stick it into a file okay and then save that so I'm going to copy the text of the, the the file and then I can go into some editor okay stick it in there and save save my my file okay so I've got this screen one dot Java. Actually, I'll just go ahead and do it. Create, save, and I'm just going to save this on my desktop. So this is you're going to want to name it screen one dot Java, and this is the Java code for my simple click click a button turn it red app. Okay, so I've got that file set up, and I need to now add it to my Eclipse folder. So I've already or sorry, I've downloaded my two files. So I need to get my library. So I'm going to go to my downloads. Here's the library I downloaded, the Android Runtime Jar. Okay, this is the Java Bridge library. And I'm going to move this into the libs directory. Copy it. Okay, there it is. You have to do one extra step on a Mac. I'll control click it. And then I choose build path and add to build path. Okay, and, and there it is. So everything's all set up for the library. Now I can build Java bridge programs okay and now I'm going to go grab that sample Java code um, that, that we just downloaded and you're going to want to go to the project source and then whatever this uh, package name is and you're going to, want to put it put it right there so I'm going to go back grab this screen one dot Java and move it into the same folder okay we're going to basically replace main activity Java Java with a with a new um, program and it's called screen1.java okay and it's going to have an error on it so I'm going to open this file and let's make sure we get rid of these other files here um, so screen1.java the reason there's an error is because the package name is wrong so we created a new project and notice it was com.example.clickred4 so just make sure when you load the sample file in that you change the package name and then it'll be fixed so I think if I save this it should get rid of the error. Okay, cool. So I've got this sample Java code in. I've got my library in. There's just one more step to be able to run this sample app. Okay, and this is how you're going to build all your Java bridge programs. Basically, you can start with this Click Red app and then and then change things. But you need to do one more thing. And what you're going to do is you need to go to the Android manifest file. This is like a config file where you set up things about your project in Android. So I'm going to double click and open it. And then I'm going to choose the, the actual file down here so I can edit the file. And you just need to change the name of the activity that's going to start when the activity is like a screen in Android. But you don't want to run main activity anymore. Okay, We kind of replaced it with and what we want to run is screen one. All right, so I'm just going to change the name here to screen one. And that's the only change you need to make. Save the file, okay? And now I think we're ready, ready to run this thing, okay? 
So I should run my little app, screen1.java. I'm going to click on the green Go button, okay? And I think I've got an emulator up already, so it should be a pretty quick install and run. So once once your emulator is loaded, um, you, when you make changes in your program, it, it goes pretty quickly and showing you the, the result. So here comes my new app, and like I said, it's a real dumb app. It's got one button, uh, uh, which is, starts out green, you, and you click it, and it turns red. Okay, that's all the app does. Okay, in the next video, I'll talk about the source code in screen1.java.